Fire stopping is well defined in the major building and safety codes. Openings in smoke and fire barriers must be restored with third party tested systems. We fire stop for light safety and code compliance reasons. Statistics show that the inhalation of smoke and other toxic gases produced by fire cause more deaths than the fire itself. The sealing of openings in fire rated assemblies with tested and listed fire stop systems will help to contain smoke and fire, allowing for safe egress and ingress while limiting the amount of property damage. And since this is all driven by code, fire stopping is mandatory. Building codes and standards require fire stopping in all fire rated walls, floors, and where joints meet. Fire stop systems are broken down into three main categories. One, penetrations in rated floors and walls. This includes both through penetrations as well as membrane penetrations. Number two, joint systems in rated walls. And number three, exterior curtain wall assemblies. Every building should have a set of life safety plans illustrating where the fire rated barriers are for every floor. If you are on site without plans, the presence of fire dampers or fire rated doors can signify a fire rated barrier. And often, fire rated walls are labeled or stenciled for identification. If a barrier is unsealed, it potentially has no rating. Don't let this happen to you. Our fit tip of the day is always refer to the individual building or safety code before you start fire stopping. You're going to want to verify all requirements with the local authority having jurisdiction so there are no surprises at the end of the job. Check the life safety plans, but if there is ever a doubt, seal the hole with a listed fire stop system and no harm will be done. In the meantime, for more information, please visit www.stifirestop.com.